Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the uh, firmware upgraded uh, FS700 and the Sony 4K recording solutions. Okay, for the FS700, and you know that this is a 4K ready camcorder. And then now Sony is officially launched a solution, really a solution for 4K and 2K. And then now what we are showing you is the setting for, uh, for Sony. So the, this is the FS700, uh, FS700 with the uh, firmware upgrade, which is now you can support uh, 4K and 2K recording. And uh, for Sony, they will act, they're actually offering like a, a, a raw solutions, a raw recording solutions, which is you using the uh, 3G SDI out from the FS700 and then go to the uh, the uh, uh, 4K. Um, recorder controller, the uh, HXR, I have R5 and then you can stick with the, uh, re, um, the raw recorder which is the same unit as the, F, uh, the PMW um, F55 and F5 which is the AXS R5 and then now you can using this setting to record a 4K and also a 2K uh, raw files. So, and also, uh, at this moment, you will know that because uh, this is actually like a, a standalone unit. It's not like uh, maybe a, a stick-on -like unit, which is something like maybe a, a, a charger. So, you might, you might have to find a solution to how to mount this unit onto with the FS700. So now we are showing you its Genesis Tech solutions. So we are using the normal um, the uh, the video rig which uh, no, uh, Genesis Tech normally like maybe supply. And then what we are added on is the uh, it's just only like a quick release plate which stick at the at the bottom which is the same as the as the uh, uh, shoulder pad unit. And then you just click on and then find your positions and then just lock. It's that easy. And um, and then at the same time, I just put on a Kinotechnic uh, um, LCD EVF because uh, you know that the the viewfinder when you're doing the uh, handheld and then the viewfinder the screen on the uh, on the FS700 it doesn't really like maybe uh, working well with the handheld situations. So you can now okay close it and then I'm using the uh, the EVF uh, to use it. And uh, okay, so now and also I put on the um, the hand grip. From the FS700, stately stick with the uh, with the shoulder with the shoulder rake, which means that okay, when I do the handheld right now, okay, so when I put in this, and then uh, I can hold the unit with the hand grip, and then I can still, for example, I want to do maybe a, a record, I just like press the button, and then I can just record straight away. No need to okay. For example, like I find maybe the button like over the top and then maybe or maybe I put it have to put on the the handle like that and then find the button. I rather just put it here and then I just do it okay. I just do it start stop okay and then I do another one okay get it and then start and then stop which is much easier to operate. And then because the I have R5 this unit is is actually not not light. So I using this as a show, as a, as a counterbalance, and then which uh, which um, counterweight I mean, which makes the whole setting is actually not like front heavy. So that's why it doesn't like maybe uh, using a lot uh, a lot of force to just holding maybe uh, the cam uh, whole rigs uh, with my two hands. So that's why it's been pretty comfortable. So if I just using this as a like a handheld situation, like the ENG camera, and then I think this will be a quite a good solution for you. And uh, okay, so after talking about like the uh, solutions for the uh, uh, for the rigging, and then I want to talk about like the uh, the menu functions of the uh, FS700. And uh, okay, after you doing the firmware upgrade, there is actually three parts which maybe you have to be consider, and then maybe it's different than the FS700 original uh, functions before. So which is the first one I want to talk about is the uh, menu. When you go to the menu, and then the one that is uh, badly changed is the record set. When we, we in the record set, you will find out that is several things is changing. First, okay, you can choose whether you record raw HD or SD. Okay, now I definitely record raw. Okay, 
And the other thing is the simultaneous recording. This is HD, so that means it's the same as what the original uh, menu from uh, from the FS700. So if you set the HD simultaneous recording on, that means you can record the uh, on SD card at the same time. You can record on the uh, on the 128 gigs hard disk, which is um, the uh, also supplied by Sony. And uh, okay, so for the uh, output format, so you can record, for example, like maybe 4K, 2K, and then and for for example, now okay, now I'm setting is 4K, uh, 50P, and then I can set it back to like maybe for example like 2K, like 50P. So when I do press it and then it's execute out and then now okay, I wait for the recorder and then in the recorder it will show that 2K, 50P my time code and also the file name so it's pretty easy make sure and then this light is not flashing so it's flashing that means that he is actually taking the information from the camcorder so you will see all the information is not shown that means okay you still have to wait maybe the signal get confirmed from the camcorder to the recorder so make sure that otherwise you cannot record or maybe the function I am I don't know whether maybe that would be corrupted or not and also the recording control. What is the mean of recording control? If you set RAW and also HD, that means when you press the record button, right, like, just like now, and then it will record onto the SD card, and also we will record it onto the RAW. So that means HD will record and also RAW record. I would rec strongly recommend this because uh, for the solu uh, for the um, for the raw solutions, you cannot at this moment this unit cannot get you a 4K um, SDI out to put it onto a 4K monitor, and also they cannot provide a thumbnail which is like the FS700. You can just choose maybe whatever shot you want. So that means you have to have like a lock sheet to make sure which file name you actually want to see the playback, and then you just choose onto the um, uh, setting, and then you can just find out. So that's why if you want to do a playback, and then I would still strongly recommend to use the uh, FS700, go to the visual menus, find the shots, playback, and then show to the director or show to whatever you want, and then rather than using the, uh, the raw recorder. And then uh, just like leave it alone, and then just only for recording. And uh, okay, and also if you want to set this, just like okay, press the uh, the record button, and then your uh, camera will also be recording. Other than you have to set into the FS700, you also have to set the menu through the recorder. So you go to the menu, make sure you go to the uh, record trigger, and then you set to on. Because if you set to off, that means, okay, even you press the record button and then your setting into the record is actually on and then it doesn't mean that, okay, it can also link together. So how can I know it's already linked together? In the uh, record controller, and then you will see next to the uh, battery, but, uh, battery uh, uh, icon, you will see that is like uh, maybe a Thunder, uh, Thunder logos with uh, like that next to the um, uh, battery logos. That means that okay, the signal is now linked all together. So that means when you press the button onto the FS700, and then it will also record it. Make sure because they have might have like maybe a, a less than or maybe around a second like delay. And on the start and stop. So when you call rolling or maybe you call actions, make sure to give you like around like maybe a, a one or two seconds headroom before maybe you uh, you 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 could call you call the the command. Okay. And other than that, and then I want to talk about the uh, on the menu. There is one function I will just like very strongly recommend is the. Uh, I will always just set the um, the raw uh, S and Q button into 4K, 2K buttons. For sure, sure, you can just set to 4K and uh, set to 2K. The difference is, okay, if I press the button first time, and then it will jump into 4K, and then you will see the fresh button, and then once it's off, and then you will see the information here, and then we we'll all jump into the uh, into the uh, 4K 4K settings, and then maybe sometimes it, it takes a little maybe a few seconds to do it like that. Okay, now I mean it's 4K S and Q, hundred frame per second, so that is the setting. For the second time, when I press it, and then I will go to 2K. You know that okay. We all know that like if you are using the FS700 revolver system, the fastest you can get for 4K is hundred frame per second, and then for 2K, the fastest is actually 200, but you can set to 100. So that means when you press uh, the S and Q longer, and then you will see this button is just jump 
into just like to determine the uh, the frame rate, and then it's the same as of uh, the, the previous function on the FS700, you can set to 100 to 200. Okay, so for example, like I set to like for example like 100. Press it back, and then now I can start the recording. So I can start the recording, and then it okay, it's standby. Okay, it's standby because uh, it's just like maybe calling the uh, the signal that I already changing the the, uh, the speed. So that's why I make sure the all the information is pop up onto the system like this. Okay, so now I'm doing the recording. Okay, I'm doing now the recording. Okay, and then and then stop. Okay, so just like that. Okay, for example, like if I just press back and then it back to normal. If I press like maybe uh, the 4K and then super slow and then it just like get the preparations onto the FS700 at the same time make sure the light is on and then now the setting will be okay come on. The setting will be showing you is 4K and then is 100P just like that and then I can start okay start trigger and then I do the, uh, the shots. Okay so it will just play back from the uh, SD card and then yeah, it will also record onto the system. So that is the case on the, uh, on the button of 4K, 2K. And uh, okay, one more function is about like the picture profile because now, okay, they can record on 2K and 4K. So that means uh, in the picture profile, Sony also add on some more options for you. So for example, like if you go to the picture profile, they have already set some function on it, but uh, in the menu, they only set like PP1234567, okay? It doesn't mean anything. So you can set your own. For example, I want to set maybe a PP1. In the PP1, okay, you go to setting, and then you will see there is actually a gamma. The gamma is actually also the same as, the, uh, as what the previous version is. But okay, in the gamma, you will find out they have add on like the uh, uh, the ITU 0, uh, 709 and then also 800 and also the S slot 2. I think the S slot 2 is actually if I would strongly recommend if you record the uh, raw files, you can record on S, S, uh, S slot 2 because you will get like a much wider dynamic range than the standard or also for the for the C1234, but. If you are only record onto the SD card, I will strongly not recommend you on to using the S slot two because you know that like the uh, the SD card for the FS image, the compression rate is a four two zero MPEG four files, so it's a highly compressed files. So if you're using a maybe a four uh, S slot which give you a more wider dye range, then okay, you have to do a lot of like maybe a, a post color grading at the back, and then you are using a very high uh, compressions files into this system, and then you will find out the uh, the files will be just like maybe uh, maybe um, get much harder to control, and then the files will be get easier to be get like maybe uh, corrupted or maybe what is corrupt not is it's just like maybe uh, broken out because you put on so many like maybe layers because you are highly compressed. So that's why I would strongly recommend if you're using the HD only a proxy and then doing the offline edit, fine. If you are actually using this as a real recording without the raw recorder, I would not recommend you to put on the S.2 on it unless you are recording on raw. Okay, so um, this is actually the rough functions on the FS700, which you upgrade the firmware upgrade and then with the uh, raw recorder. So if you want to have more information about this camcorder, please visit ANS website.